morning guys it's actually a good morning to do your zets for one that's with you being and last night i had hardly any sleep because the thunder and lightning was ridiculous literally it sounded as if like somebody massive had a massive set of pans above the house somebody that's... massive had a massive set of pans <laughs> what we did, didn't it? That's how loud it was. Like it was above my head. But um, Lucas is in nursery right now, and it's like an hour later, and we have to go and um have that meeting now, which I'm not like looking forward to. Oh, nightmare! Nope. <laughs> Somebody's like jogging in the rain. Like, mm -mm. probably wouldn't be too bad. Actually. Probably be quite nice and refreshing, because it's 15 degrees, so it's not as if it's like freezing. But that rain's cold. So, but wish us luck we are going in now well we're out and all in all <laughs> Alex is just punches in the face do you ever do that game where is it like I can't say it it's okay. whenever you see a pink mini you've got to punch it I've just seen it you punch somebody in the face that's it well it's like yellow car you punch somebody in the arm Pink mini, you gotta punch somebody in the face. Good job, there's not many pink minis in, mm. in there. Right, all in all, I think everything went well. I just feel a bit emotionally drained right now. Do you feel the same? Yeah, I tell like we had, stories. yeah, we had to. Like basically, we told them the stuff. Like, if Lucas has struggling like if he's struggling to like move his arms or his legs that's a big issue we need to be phoned or if he hits his head we need to be phoned or if he's bleeding you he need we need to be phoned and to be honest the looks on the face is constantly we're just like like i do feel bad because i feel like we're just like we've had half an hour of us just giving them information and i just hope i haven't confused them but basically we've said to them if you feel like you need to ring ring don't be scared like you don't need to know everything now because we don't even know need to know everything now and it's been three years for us so they like, just don't be scared it was quite sad because we had a sort of like for them to understand like i feel like with hemophilia people don't understand the extent to what happens so you know what it is i might as well do this video now about hemophilia do you think yeah I might as well do it now in the car where we're gonna go and get a part from a hoover. So I think the big problem with haemophilia is for other people, not necessarily the person with haemophilia, other people don't realize how like bad and serious it is. Um, so basically haemophilia is, um, he's missing a factor in his blood and it's called factor nine and he's missing it in his blood and that means his blood doesn't clot properly. So, so that means he doesn't if scab, he doesn't stop bleeding. So like basically, if you were to cut your finger with some scissors or a knife or something like that, normally you would need to just like, I don't know, put it under a cold tap or something like that and just put a little bit of pressure on it or something like that. Or even just leave it like me, I just leave it sometimes. Um, normally you would just leave it and that would be it. You'd just forget about it. But unfortunately with Lucas, if he was to like cut himself, you need to sit and apply pressure for like 15 minutes and it's also said to put an ice pack on it. Um, and this just helps the blood clot um, and freeze essentially. That's what you're doing really, isn't it? You're freezing the blood when you think about you're it. Stop the blood. Like you're freezing the blood so it doesn't do it. But you kind of keep taking it off to check it stop because it'll just you're just pulling the scab off. But yeah, if like say after half an hour of like applying the pressure, if it's still like bleeding dramatically, I would say that is when you need to say right. Well, it's obviously not going to stop when it's on his like on its own. We need to take him into hospital, and then he will go into hospital and get some benefits, and that will just top up his factor. It gives him the replacement factor, so that's for a cut. Um, the other problem you have is with bruises, which is the most serious part of it which is a bleeding condition you wouldn't actually class bruise as a bleeding condition in my eyes like when I first got told it's like well it's a bruise it's not bleeding but actually a bruise is blood under the skin that's right isn't it yeah, I mean. um so 
what happens he'll fall over and as like say if you walk into a table like I do all the time and it completely hurts um, you would get a bruise the next day and it's like ow that hurts you would get a bruise the next day but what will happen with Lucas is he will start like say if he's fallen over or whatever he will he will start getting a lump under the skin and it'll look a bit red and um, it'll feel a bit hot to touch and it can stop there if it's just like a little knock and then you don't really need to worry about it if it just stops bleeding but sometimes um, what will happen is the bleeding under the skin won't stop the, it will still feel hot and the swelling will get bigger and then you will notice like a bruise to be honest I, I don't really notice, notice bruises at the start I don't think I think it's always been like swelling and heat that I've noticed first and like redness um, and you will notice that it's just red and it's hot and it's swollen and then what will happen is you normally have to um, apply pressure again the same thing for blood like bleeding and everything like that apply pressure and an ice pack and that once again it'll do the same thing it'll stop it if it can but sometimes you don't notice these things so you don't apply the pressure and then before you know it he's um, really hurt himself and he's not walking properly on it or he's not moving his arm properly on it and in that case oh, he will then need to go like that it'll still feel hot as well and in that case you that means it's still bleeding because it's hot it means the blood's like active and then he will have to go into hospital and get it treated but another problem is that we have is there's a couple of um types of bruises in the muscle on the muscle and in the joint we haven't experienced a joint one yet thankfully because that's really bad that can give him arthritis um because it damages your joints every single time you have one but we haven't experienced that so i'm not going to even explain it because i don't know but um on the muscle is normally all right obviously um they're normally alright to be honest if it stops them from moving and everything like that then might give them one just to like ease it, ease it a bit and make it go down a little bit and also if it's going to get knocked all the time it'll just stop it potentially getting worse normally they'll give it but um, the other one is in the muscle which is really painful basically it, there's just like a lot of blood in the muscle which will stop the muscle from moving properly and in that case he doesn't walk he doesn't he'll sit there and he'll not do anything um, and it's very painful from and then that means that he has to um, get treatment definitely sometimes one's enough but sometimes he'll need to go in a few days just to get topped up a little bit just so that it completely goes because it's in the muscle it's painful and yeah but another one that we have I feel like I'm rambling again I don't even know if I'm making sense I hope I am because it makes sense to me but another one is when he hits his head no matter well I'm not gonna say no matter what he needs to go in the hospital because he doesn't for us because we know but normally they say no whenever he hits his head hard I'm gonna say and he's got like a huge lump on his head he needs to go in and get a treat just as a precaution um so about the bruises like i feel like i've covered everything really without going into too much detail so what i want um like if i don't make sense on anything or if you are in a position like this i don't know maybe you are um like just leave questions down below and we'll definitely like answer them because like I want people to know about this condition like it's That's not a rare condition it's not a rare it is a rare condition so like people don't understand what other people go through and this is the full point like I want like not to feel sorry for people but about but I know there's people out there in our position where they deal with something silently and nobody understands what you're going through and everybody just thinks you're exaggerating and everybody just thinks like oh he's just falling over or everybody just thinks oh like oh poor me like my child's done this my child's done that and it's like i'm sorry but like this makes me sound really horrible but like 
I'm sorry, but you just need to shut up and be grateful that you've got a healthy kid. Because there's a lot of people who I know who just whinge, 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 whinge about their kids not sleeping, for example. That's a big one. Uh, whinging about their kids not sleeping and they just need to be grateful that they've got a healthy kid. So what if your kid doesn't sleep? Like, it's probably your own fault. <laughs> like, you probably, like, I'm having a part of rant here, but it really bugs me. Like, there's people out there with real problems. Problems worse than what I go through and what Lucas goes through. And you know what it is? What's the point in whinging about it? Just deal with it. There's nothing that can be done. And this is, we want to deal with it by showing people that um, you're not alone for one if you've got to deal with something and maybe if your kid doesn't go to sleep like you're not the only one with worries it's taken me to the worst shop ever and i'm not too happy about it you get to look at i don't want to look at power shoots why do i want a bike who wants a bike ever Ooh. so lucas hasn't had a nap yet and it's late and he's eating some crisps and he was falling asleep, so we'll see if he still is. Wait for the crisps. Where? <laughs> is that where they go? In Mummy's bag? Yeah. Are you tired? <laughs> oh no. My blanket on. You need the blanket on? Yeah. Have you got it on? Yeah. Mind you. Yeah. No falling asleep in Mummy and Daddy's bed. Mummy, you're so bad too. It's my bed too. Yes. Do you want to sleep in it? Is no. Daddy not comfy? No. Lucas, have you had fun at school today? Yeah, I got tickled. You got tickled? Yeah. Who by? The teachers or the kids? Kids. The kids? Your friends? Four. Were, they, were your friends tickling you? Yeah, no. Did you tickle them back? No. No. Mommy, I'm I really in school. You were really at school as well? Yeah. Because you're a big boy now, aren't you? I eat pizza. I can't eat the dinner. You couldn't eat the dinner? Yes. Why? Were you not hungry? Yeah. Or did you not like it? Why it? You didn't like it? Yes. Yeah. Why it? You, you're such a fussy pot. Why it? Put. Why it? Like it? No. Why it? You didn't. Well. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> no, Mummy. What? You're going to hurt yourself, mind. Is Mummy tidying up? Mm. They can't see you. Are you helping Mummy tidy up? Yeah. You little fib, I know you're not. Yeah. You just make the mess. Bye bye, guys.